Of course she did. Like <laughs> The whole thing starts and ends with her posting about me. I literally timelines this shit on my Twitter and people are like, see, she's so upset she made a timeline. Why don't you just listen to me? <laughs> I'm not saying I didn't post about her, but she posted about me first, talked about me first. And then has the nerve to be like, well, all she's doing is talking about me. I run her whole life. She was literally commenting on posts about me recently. So I texted her and I said, if you got something to say, just say it. Like to me, like what the fuck? And instead of that, she went, mm, I'm going to write a song about it. <laughs> and I was just going to ignore all the comments about it because I don't give a fuck. So I made a video taking the piss out of it and she literally deleted the video after getting backlash because all the things she said in the song were all the things she said about me publicly so people knew that it was about me. Also, can we stop telling fat women that they're insecure? Like, just because you would be insecure to look like me doesn't mean I am insecure. Like, tell us what you really think. And then she's like, oh, these lies she's making up. You told everybody that it already happened. Sure, you deflected blame, but you literally said that it happened. I said... You said something to a trans woman when we were out and it made her uncomfortable and she told you to fuck off. And then you went on live and confirmed that that happened and then blamed me for the things you said to her. I said that you told me, if you told me to fuck you, Brad, and I know you remember because there was some random guy in the car. You told me that you don't see Hawk as non-binary and you can't really, and you struggle to use they, them pronouns for them because you don't think it's real. You literally said that to my face. The girl who got roofied sent me pictures of you two together in 2013 at a party and she told me that you were the one who made her the drink that got her roofied in the fucking first place. Like, she completely is trying to gaslight me and be like, I've never made a response video. Yes, you have. You've made a lot of fucking posts about me, which is like, fine, whatever. But to act like you're not doing that is like a sick joke. At the end of the day, like, Peach really hurt me, like, very badly. And then, like, she's coming on here and just blatantly lying. Or saying that she picked up drugs for me. When did that ever happen? I never asked her to get a bag, ever. Even, like, when we're out, I never asked her if she wanted to do that. Or she brought up when I invited her to dinner. I invited her to dinner because all she does is go out drinking. All she does is get absolutely blackout every day. So I invited her to dinner. There was so many times I invited her to things that were not drinking because I give a fuck. And then she's like, she got mad at me that I didn't want to drink. I did not get mad at you. <laughs> I would never get mad at somebody for not wanting to drink a wine at dinner. Like, we really don't need to argue. Like, if you didn't comment on posts about me and then just maybe said things privately to me after I texted you and then didn't write a song about me, they could all shut up.